What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, guys, so, yes, in our last episode, yes, we finally did it. Mmm, <clears throat> look at that. All eight badges. That's right, how do you like me now? Not that good. Anywho, yes, we won our eighth badge, and uh, we are now enabled to go to one of two places. We can either capture Rayquaza and be jerks and just defeat the Elite Four with just Rayquaza. Or... We could go to the Pokemon League. I don't know. I think we're going to save the Pokemon League for next week because I know you guys are, you know, thinking that we're going to be doing it right here. No, we're going to be doing it next week. In this episode, we're going to be going to a few places that we forgot to go to or we're going to go to now that we got the HM07 uh, waterfall and weren't able to use it. So the first place we're going to be going to... Um, I kind of want to, I kind of want to go back to the Jagged Pass because there is something over there. Well, actually, not the Jagged Pass, but Mount Chimney that, you know, there, yeah, there is something there that we kind of need to take care of. So, let's go right ahead and do that. And, uh, well, here we are in Lava Ridge. Now, if you guys remember, going into Mount Chimney, there... There is an, uh, well, there's a second area, or a second entrance that we can actually go to. And it's right here. Now, there is a special item waiting for us. I did bring, what's his name, uh, with us. Uh, oh, yes, I did bring Zizagoon with us just for this occasion because, uh, yeah, we kind of need, uh, we kind of need his specialty, and that is, you know, strength, rock smash, and uh, I don't know what am I doing right here. Okay, here we go. Max repel. There we go. So we're going to go right here, and we're going to need somebody with strength. So let's go right ahead and push this aside, and look at this. We got ourselves our good old buddy Sage of the Halo ready to push this, and holy buckets. Yes. We're going to be finding an extra entrance right here. And the funny thing is, guys, you'll be able to actually find something uh, interesting in this whole place like this. We found ourselves a TM06, and that is Toxic. That is going to be useful when we get to the Pokemon League and quite possibly the Battle Frontier. Now, if you go down here, you'll also be able to find maybe one or two things. And you have to be careful when you push this boulder, guys, because, uh, yeah, you, <laughs> you got to be very strategic on where you put this. And from what it looks like, I got to put it right here, 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 and crap baskets. I think I messed up. Oh, gravy. I think. I don't know. Hold on. Yes, I messed up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back, and what we should have done is move this and not move that boulder. That always gets me. Now, the second thing you can actually grab is this, a Firestone. That is useful for if you want to actually evolve certain Pokemon in this walkthrough right here. So, that was pretty much it right here for this little, little part. The next place that we're going to be going to is near, I would like to say, Lava Ridge? No, not Lava Ridge. Uh, the, the, the area that we, the area that doesn't have a gym. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, guys, in Fall Arbor Town. Can't believe I forgot its name, but yes, Fall Arbor Town is home to a whole bunch of stuff like uh, Route 114. Now, there is an area right here where you can actually use the waterfall technique. And yes, we did get ourselves our good old buddy Hydra for this occasion. And while we were away, we were capturing some Pokemon that, you know, we kind of needed to capture. One of them being Grimer. Many of you guys are wondering, what am I doing with all these Pokemon? Well, it is very simple, guys. I kind of want to actually capture or see every single Pokemon in this game because that will enable me to actually get a, a Johto Pokemon towards the very end. So let's go ahead and grab this and we found ourselves another rare candy. That is a very, very useful item right there. And well, let's get the heck out of here. All right, Joust. And well, I think that is pretty much it for that. And well, you can actually surf for that right there. Now, the next place on the list is yeah, the next place on the list is the Granite Cave, I think. No, that's not the Granite Cave. Uh, Mount... I can't, believe I can't believe I'm forgetting all these names. But you guys already know, we're going to be going into the Meteor Falls in order to go towards these the extra places that we needed to go. Uh, that being the Waterfall Places and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and come into the Meteor Falls. Now... If you guys remember, we can't go through the waterfall places until we get the waterfall technique. So here it is, waterfall. 
And let's go right ahead and not do that. And let's go ahead and use a... Okay, so we still got that. And let's go ahead and use a big old waterfall technique. Now, you know what's funny? What's funny is that, you know, we caught ourselves or we traded for a Bagon early on in our walkthrough because you wouldn't be able to get it until you finally got Waterfall. I will be showing you guys where to find Bagon. And uh, what is another thing we need to do? Yes, I, I will be showing you guys where to get Bagon. But on not only that, but a very important TM. We also traded for a TM as well. You guys can actually do that. And uh, Well, first is first. Uh... There's three stairways. I kind of want to go down here because we need to get, we need to grab some important items. Let's go right here, and we're gonna be finding ourselves the TM23 Iron Tail, and that right there, that right there is a very important move. Actually, a very useful move if you want to lower your Pokemon's defense or lower the other Pokemon's defense, and you will be finding a couple in this uh, in this general area. Raiden still has. Well, it still has the experience share, so let's go right ahead and give give that to Joust. I think we, I think Joust needs a little bit more uh, experience points right here, so let's go right ahead, give that, and well, let's go right ahead and start battling some people right here—a good old couple. And we've been married for 50 years. The bond we share as a couple could never be broken. That is true. Okay, so here it is. We are going to be taking on the old couple John and May, and they're going to be coming out with both a Medicham and a Hariyama, two fighting type Pokemon right here. And, well, we're going to be going with the, the best crew right here, and we're going to be going after big old bulky Hariyama, because we kind of knew Medicham was going to do that, protect itself. So, let's go right ahead and get it all. Let's go. Look at that, half the experience points, or half the HP, I should say. And here comes a Leaf Blade. And just like that, Hariyama has been defeated. Okay, and well, I completely forgot that Sage has the Shell Bell after using the experience here for quite some time. And well, let's go ahead and finish off Midicham with the same techniques. And well, it's gonna be using Protect, so let's go ahead and do this again. And just like that, we're going to be going with uh, the same moves, Thunder, uh, Thunderbolt and Leaf Blade. We should could combine them together, just like in the cartoons. And, well, there we go. We have defeated the old couple. Yuff. Okay, alrighty, so that right there will give us their numbers. And we can battle them anytime. Their Pokemon levels will, will actually uh, raise up. And, of course, they're telling you about how, like, you know, they've been married for 50 years and how strong they become. Now... This right here is where you'll find this trainer. This is where Dragon users uh, do our training. The champion even visits. Now do you see the spe how special it is here? It is very, very special. Holy crud. So here we are taking on a dragon trainer or dragon tamer, and he's going to be coming out with some pretty good dragon types. Now the funny thing is, guys, later on when you're playing Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, this place has more of an importance. For me, it was kind of like, oh crud, it's, uh, yeah, it, it just just this, oh my god. And as you guys can see, yeah, we're going to be struggling against Altaria right here, so let's go again, and then, there it is, strength attack, does the trick, and, well, there we go, getting some more points, and Altaria's going to be coming out, so let's go ahead and switch it out to Hadouken, because I have yet to use this guy in quite some time, Hadouken, let's go, you're returning home, but not home. Just home. So here we go, Hadouken, Alteria, Alteria, Hadouken, and yes, Intimidate is gonna be working in our favor. And let's go with the Dragon Claw for the win. There we go. Dragon Claw does the trick. Alteria defeated. And there we go, we're getting some more points. More points, just like that. Okay, so yes, <laughs> he didn't expect us to be that strong. And after that, yes, we're going to be getting uh, his phone number on the Pokenab. Now, like I said before, guys, I'm going to show you where you can actually find Bagon in this game. Just be careful not to rush through the, the bottom part because, of course, you could end up in that side. So we're going to go through this area right here, and it will enable us to go straight to this stream. And what happens next is you're going to go right here into this cave. And in this cave right here or this side of the cave, I should say, 
you'll find not one but two things. TMO2 Dragon Claw. Like I said guys, I traded for the Dragon Claw in order to teach Bagon when it was young. And the other thing too is you can actually find Bagon right here. So let's go right ahead and fast forward to finding Bagon right now. If my experience or my repel has gone off. So hold on, let's see. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and try and find Bagon. Let's find Bagon. And no, that's a gold bat. Try it again. That's another gold bat. Like I said before, guys, you this is the place where you can actually find Bagon. And like I said, it is very, very unfair. Do you guys now see why I had to trade for it? And whoa, look at this. We found ourselves a soul rock. So I'm going to try and capture this guy because I kind of want it. Crap baskets. Okay, never mind. But yes, that's a Pokemon that you can actually find right here. But let's go ahead and find Bagon. Come on. Don't be lame. Come on. And there's a soul rock again. Leaf blade. Yeah, I'm growing experience points. I will eventually capture both the Sun and Moon Pokemon right here. And do it again. And let's go right ahead. Use an Ultra Ball. Try an Ultra Ball again. Come on. Don't be lame. Be with me. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Soul Rock has been captured. Not going to read its Pokedex entry. But that's one Pokemon you can actually find right here. So let's go ahead and find this Pokemon. And wow, Soul Rock is following us like flies. Again. Again. Wow. We're literally finding Soul Rocks and uh, Golbat. No. Come on. We know we could find this guy. And, well, it is very rare in Pokemon Emerald, so, again, there you go. Look at that. We have found ourselves a Bagon. Do you guys not see why I, I traded? It takes us that long. Yes, it does. So, let's see. Yeah. So, that's, like I said, that's where you can actually find Bagon. And, uh... Well, that, again, that is the reason why I traded for it, because it's too late, way too late into the game. Too too many battles have gone by for us to actually train that Bagon, so... Again, could you blame me? Now, I think... I think that's pretty much it for this place right here. I think we've already reached everything. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there is an exit right here. And look at this. We have found ourselves a PP up. And that right there is the final item right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is the final item. Unless I'm mistaken. I kind of want to find that, that general area. So let's go right ahead. And let's go right ahead and swim all the way over and see if we, if we can actually find uh, if we can actually find that, <laughs> that specific area again. I don't think we can. But look, look at that. We're going to be going right here. And let's see. Nope, that's an entrance, that's an exit. And, well, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty much it right there, guys. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of here, and we're gonna go into the next area that we need to go to in this little side quest. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in Fortree City, and the next place we actually have to go to is right here, Route 119. If you guys remember, there are, well, there's a waterfall right here. We couldn't go here because, well, of course, we didn't have waterfall. And, well, let's go right ahead and just take care of the business right here. Take care of the business and see what, what kind of item we, uh, we, we, we can actually find. Now, another thing, too, guys, is make sure to have the acro bike with you because uh, you will be needing it in this general area right here. So let's go right ahead and push through. Look at this. Okay. And, well, here we have found more berries, Hondu berries, to be exact. And, well, let's see. Let's see what else we could actually find right here. Mm-hmm. We're going to go with uh, two more Hondu berries. There we go. And now this is where you're going to be needing the Acro Bike because pressing the B button, you'll be able to cross this area. And, well, here we found ourselves a Nugget. Yes, we're going to be needing that for a little bit later. And huh, I don't know I don't know the the reason like I don't know the reason for this right here. So let's go right ahead and cross this one and you you, you guys will be able to find another secret base area right here and uh, well, just make sure just just make sure to keep an eye out for that one right there. So let's go right ahead and bounce through. And here we found ourselves yet another rare candy. Look at that. Okay. 
So another rare candy, so that makes three of them. That could be useful for when we... I guess you could say for when we, uh... For when we battle the Elite Four and all that stuff. So, let's see. I think there is one more area where there's a waterfall. And, uh... Oh, not this. Let's go right here. And... Let's see if we can actually find that other waterfall. I could be wrong. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I was wrong. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go right ahead and... Fly back to Fortree, because uh, I think that's pretty much it right there. Unless I'm wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Okay, so that, that has been the little side quest that I, I had planned out to finish off this weekend. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, let's see. Huh. Yeah, so next the next episode, guys, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon League. We're going to be taking care of business right there. Um, shoot. Hmm. I'm, I'm starting to think to myself that maybe we shouldn't go to the Pokemon League just yet. There are still other people that we can actually battle, we can talk about, and all that crud. Kind of want to get through everything before we get to the Pokemon League. So next, yeah, huh. I think that that could be it. So once I get my head on straight, we we will figure it out. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being, uh, you know, as you know, as uh, supportive as possible and all that stuff. Uh, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.